my goodness, another hot afternoon. So we're going to help you cool off today with food and drinks. Chef Mohan Ismail from Rock Sugar Pan Asian Kitchen is here. He's going to show us some sips, some sweets, and even some salads. Yum! Thank you for, for having me me here. So right now we have uh, we'll be you'll be help, you'll be helping me make a mango. Papaya salad. Okay, and these uh, are things that are really popular right now. You say people keep coming in and asking for them because it is so absolutely. Hot. You know, and, and it's easy to it's, it's it's easy to make at home, and mm -hmm. you know it's refreshing. It's crispy. It's crunchy. It's just yummy. And it's healthy. And it's, it's healthy. So we have you. We're gonna we have some green papaya here, and we have some un, unripe mangoes. Okay, just, and the, and the papaya is just raw, and you raw, shredded we it. We shred it up. We okay. uh, use put the it shredder. In there? Yeah, put put some some in now, there. Now what are we mixing? Because this is not a normal mixing. You know what? Bowl. This is a traditional Thai moth and pestle. Which is what they use in Thailand, and you know it bruises the, the fruit, so it actually makes it easier f uh, for it to absorb the flavor of the vinaigrette. Okay. So it, it's like a bruised coleslaw. And everything on your menu is sort of the influence of uh, Asian Asia. countries. Yeah, Southeast Asia. I'm from from Singapore, so so there's lots of Singapore dishes on 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 the menu. I'm not biased, but you know it's. <laughs> and then we have a you little. Just bit of, know what's good. Right? I just know what's good, and we have a little okay, bit of long beans. You snuck in some carrots, and uh, was that green beans? Green beans. Uh, we have like blistered green beans. It's okay. chopped briefly in a so wok. So they're just uh, yeah, a little it's bit like, cooked. It's like it's raw, but it's a little bit cooked. We have a little bit of uh, cherry tomatoes. Okay. Uh, we have a little bit of raram, which is a Vietnamese mint. What is that called? Raram. Ra -ram. It's like a Vietnamese, it's like a mix oh, between a cilantro yeah. and a mint. It has mm. a oh, a, it's a, fresh. It's it a fresh. fresh. Mm -hmm. And then we have my favorite, which is the Thai butt chili. So oh. depending on how spicy? spicy, it's spicy. Really depending, it's really spicy. So depending if you want it really spicy or not. So we'll just add one. Okay. You just put the whole one in it. Oh, yeah, okay. we can just you, you're, you're basically bruising this, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna add a little bit of lime juice. You know, what's Thai food without lime juice? You know, and um, we're gonna add some of the vinaigrette. It's all made, and then you're gonna help me bruise this. Just, just, okay. just, just bruising. It just, just scrape it against the side of, of the okay, dish let's itself. Show what we're doing here. <laughs> you got it. It's, it's, yeah. That's it. Just, just making the vinegar absorb into the vegetable. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good. How's it look? Are we good, it, Chef? It looks pretty bruised. <laughs> it's bruised, <laughs> and that's a good thing. Okay. And then we're just gonna finish it off. Pretty easy. We're just gonna just take a little bit of this, mm -hmm. the bruise, and you're gonna. Um, so this this is a made salad. I'm just gonna pile some on top of that. Those pretty colors. And we finish it off with a little bit of. You can sprinkle some of the cashews and peanuts oh, on top I'll of give that. Give that nice little salty crunch. And also to add a little bit of protein. You know, what I mean, you know, so instead of just a salad, so it's a nice full-bodied salad. And then. I'm still going with oh, the that, cashews. Oh, that's that's perfect. <laughs> and then last but not least, a little bit of fried shallots. Okay. Just right. to add another dimension to salad, right. and you Shallots? have a salad. That is so pretty, and you call this the green mango and papaya salad. Green mango, and then you have another grapefruit hickama salad. Grapefruit hickama salad, salad which we have grapefruit hickama, uh, red cabbage, carrots, uh, candy pecans, mm. and uh, a grapefruit dressing. And then I have our well-known Thai iced tea. Right, we're going to mix some of this. Yes, up. you're going to mix, and you're going to, you're going to help me pour this into this glass, and we can okay. both have some. Now, Thai tea is very strong. This is a, a traditional drink, but it is very strong, but it's sweet too. It is strong. That's why we serve it over crushed ice, so it melts. It's you know, a so perfect little afternoon pick me up, right? Perfect. <laughs> yeah, and sitting at your desk, falling asleep. Here you go. And as the ice melts, you know, it it, it it's pretty sweet. So as the ice melts, it just it just um, it just mellows it out. Mellows huh? it out. It's just a nice. I'm going to. Okay, I'm leaving room for a yep. little bit of cream. And then we're going to add a splash of cream on top of that. On this one? Yeah. Okay. Now and we should tell the folks that you're in Century City. We are in Century City. Um, uh, out of the way. We're at the Westfield Mall. You and are, but when you enter, it's not like you're in a mall. It's like you're it's walking into Thailand. It's a different experience. Uh, it's you know it has a, it has a very zen, very peaceful, uh, like a temple, palace sort of feeling. That's we have And a beautiful patio. Lovely. Patio outside, and we have a courtyard, which which is just just as lovely, and we have a great dining room, great service, great food. And I'm not being biased after again. After a fabulous meal, or maybe you just want to stop in for some ice cream. Some ice cream. Um, we have our. It's, it's a little warm here, so we have uh, our. I'm looking for a spoon. I. You, you know what? I, I did bring one. <laughs> oh, well, just for take you. A big one. We have. Okay, what was so, that in? Was that vinegar? No water. Oh, just okay. water. We have condensed milk. We have um, milk chocolate. We have Vietnamese coffee, mm -hmm. which is my favorite. And um, up here we have our sorbet plates. We have um, coconut, 
mango, passion fruit, and strawberry, and it's topped up with a little bit of coconut twill. Perfect for sharing. Now, what's the difference between sorbet and ice cream? Is it the cream? It's 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 a cream base. Um, you know, and and, and there's no. There, there are no eggs in this, so it just is basically more like a custard, like a frozen custard. And, and sorbet is just basically fruit puree or any kind of puree without any dairy in it or eggs. All right, I'm going to dig in. And you said this is your favorite. My this favorite. Is it it's coffee? delicious. It's it's rich. If you if you love coffee, mm. that's that's like wonderful. Mm, it tastes fresh brewed, but it's gold. <laughs> and and you it. and you get little chunks of, of coffee grinds in mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Little beans. All right. Thank you, chef, so much. For more information about Rock Sugar Pan Asian. Just go to our website. It is kcal9.com, and you can click Scene on TV. Again, they're in Century City.